My name is Stevie Williams. I'm from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, and I've been skating for 30 years. I grew up in Strawberry Mansion area, like Diamond Street, and then my mom moved me to West Philly where she's from, and that's when everything just kind of like opened up. I was 10 years old. I was, that's when I really started paying attention to whatever came my way. North Philly and West Philly is black. South Philly is white and Italian, but that's all I knew growing up was just all black. You don't know it's called segregation when you're young. You just know, don't go over there, you know what I mean? But if you do go over there, you may hear all type of racial slurs. If you're not from the neighborhood, you're gonna get it. You know, you get caught up in Fishtown, you might get your ass whipped by a bunch of white boys. But if you're white and you go up to a different part of North Philly, you might get jumped by a bunch of black dudes. You go to South Philly, whether you're white or black, you might get beat up by a bunch of Italians. You, you never know. Philly, everybody's doing something. When I moved from North Philly to West Philly, I seen two black kids skating. When I seen these two black kids trying to teach this other kid how to skate, I'm like, yo, teach me, I wanna learn too. And so the first three skaters that I've ever seen and talked to was black. It was Rasul, Terrence, and Roger Brown. And then that's how I started skating. Like, I want to skate. And I learned how to ollie, and shit was a wrap from there. So I go downtown, and I see Terrence and Rasul kicking with all of these different type of people. And I'm like, this is what y'all doing? I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm staying here. This is it. So everybody can meet up downtown, skate Love Park, not have a problem, and then go back to their neighborhood and then do the same thing every day. A lot change, but people my age, they still have the same kind of understanding that certain places you just can't go, whether you white, Puerto Rican, or Asian, or black. You stay in your neighborhood, you do your thing, and if you did something different, then you was considered like weird. So me leaving my neighborhood to ride a skateboard, I was the one of the weird ones, but now I think people see what we left the neighborhood for and what to be a part of, so I'm blessed. <laughs> I was blessed. I did everything for my little brother that got killed and for my neighborhood that, that didn't believe that somebody like me that came from our neighborhood can get busy. But I was proud to turn pro to show the hood that that was a possibility. I made a lot of money just to show my hood that I'll can be successful. You can't tell me that I didn't make the right decision riding a skateboard. And the only thing I could think about was, who am I gonna share this with? Who am I gonna be able to take around the world one day? Who am I gonna be able to just show that I have the ability to do this and receive the same grateful blessings? DGK comes from a bunch of us at Love Park being from the hood and them calling us this dirty ghetto kids when it came to getting photos taken or uh, filming or whatever. And we basically took it and formed a whole squad on some graffiti shit. That was our identification. That was who we described ourselves as. DGK has always represented the inner city kids and it's still due to this day. And when I had an opportunity to start my own company, that was my inspiration, some like brotherhood, homie type of vibe that we could travel together and also take other kids that was that's from the hood and then show them the world too. And that's what street skating, being from the hood, having morals and certain codes that the privilege, they know nothing about, yo. So you can't even get mad at them for something that they don't know. We just know better and we watch you act like that and sometimes we hope you learn a lesson. I mean, with the whole Black Lives Matter stuff that's happening, I start with my son. And if skateboarding is the tool that can blur out the, the color lines and he can adapt to everybody, that's what that's about. So I would love to change that generation's outlook. It's more of a, a universal way of looking at people and what you're doing and what you're contributing and being a part of the solution and not the problem. And the fairest thing that you can do is work on being a part of the solution. And my son is a good kid. So he knows what's fair and what's not fair. 
what's not fair is that just because we're black, we get treated a certain way, and that's not right as a human being, as a person. So you can't treat nobody bad because they're not the same color. That's not fair. And everybody's now is fighting for equal, fair rights for all colors, not just black people. But right now, black people are the ones that's fighting for it. And he's like, oh, okay. Yeah, that's just what it is, you know, humanity. And if that can transcend across all races of kids and they unite and have a community of that, then yeah, I have to start it with my child. And that comes from skating, straight up. That's what skateboarding brought in my life. That theory of, of life, which is amazing, you know what I mean?